Hi everyone, Sean from Clarinate.com here. In today's video, I'm going to be unboxing a brand new 2018 Lumiere B-flat clarinet from Bakun. I chose the Coco Bolo option, which is the reddish looking wood with gold keys, because I just think they look amazing with this combination. You might be wondering where I got this t-shirt. If you like it, you can buy one at clarinate.com slash store and help support the podcast. And when this video turns 30 days old, everyone who commented below will be eligible to win a shirt. So comment now, make sure also to hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell so you receive new updates from Clarinet as they become available. Let's dive into this box. I'm going to use my very favorite knife here to open this up. And uh, this is actually a little Swiss Army knife. And the reason I love it is it's got a little tiny screwdriver on one side that actually fits perfectly for clarinets. I think this might be discontinued though, but if I can find it on Amazon, I'll put a link in the description. And we've got a box within a box. I hope this isn't going to be like one of those Russian dolls. <laughs> All right, here's the actual box that the clarinet comes in. Again, no dents or anything. It's always something I watch for when I buy products online because you never know what it's been through and uh, this means that this was getting good treatment. All right, so let's get inside here. So as you can see, this clarinet ships in a BAM single trekking case. Um, we've got the nice Bakun logo on the front there. These cases last through anything. Um, my first clarinet that I bought 20 years ago now, my first professional instrument, I think I purchased it in 2001, and uh, it came in a BAM case. It still works till this day, so I'm expecting this case to last a really long time. I love it because of the backpack strap that you can pull out here, and the really comfortable handle, as well as the large pocket that you can store sheet music in. All right, so inside the top part here, let's see what we got. Bunch of goodies. Looks like a Bakun. This is a Bakun swab. I can feel the little weight in there. This looks to be a Bakun polishing cloth. Nice gold logo on the front. Looks great. It's like opening a new Apple product. <laughs> We've got warranty information and also a guide to preventing cracks which, like everybody else, I hope I'll never need. Put those off to the side. And this is the moment I've been waiting for. I purchased my first professional clarinet, like I said, back in 2001. And that was the instrument that got me from then until now. And so this definitely feels like the start of a new era. This will be my new everyday professional horn. And I can't wait to have a look. This is the first time I've looking. I have not actually opened this box yet. Um, just before I was going to open this box, I had to make a call for the podcast to David Schifrin to do an interview. And um, so here I am. But you know what? That was good because I waited about two hours to actually open the box, which is something you really should do if you get a new instrument. Don't get it in the house right away, pop it open, start playing. It's got to adjust to your climate. So anyways, let's open this up. That is absolutely gorgeous. So I went with the gold model with the Coco Bolo wood. I think it's a combination that not only looks absolutely incredible, but it also has a really dark, rich sound, which I love. Um, the gold keywork might take some getting used to for me. It tends to feel a little slippier than silver, um, but it looks absolutely amazing. Let's have a look here. So the level of craftsmanship here is just this is fantastic. So the Lumiere features carbon fiber rings and tenons. Um, we've got this low F vent mechanism here, which helps keep the intervals more in tune, especially the low F and the C. Um, integrated posting system, which is all hand installed in, in Vancouver, BC. Absolutely amazing. And look at that. Just looks gorgeous. Wonderful. And so this instrument comes with two barrels and one bell. Um, these barrels are in lengths 65 and 66. Yep. And this is the new Lumiere barrel and bell that go with this. So what an amazing instrument. I'm going to go ahead and get this put together. Um, but one of the things worth noting is you've got room here for your swab 
or a humidipack of some kind inside the case. Um, one mouthpiece, and I've never seen this before, maybe this is new with BAM, maybe this is uh, custom with the Bakun cases, but there's actually a spot perfectly sized for your cork grease. How cool is that? So you're not digging for the cork grease under your swab all the time. That's pretty fancy, I like that. So I'm going to go ahead and get this put together. One of the interesting things to notice while I put this instrument together, I was just thinking about is um, back in 2001, whenever I bought that new instrument, I remember trying about eight of them. And back then that was kind of what you did. You would try a bunch of instruments and hopefully find one that was to your liking. And then you'd probably get it overhauled. <laughs> and that was just the way people have done it for a long time, no matter which brand you, you really would purchase. Well, the idea with Bakun is that you're getting not only a well-crafted instrument, but it's actually hand assembled by a dedicated team in Vancouver. So this instrument is as if it just had a nice fresh overhaul and there's no need to send it away after that. So super excited to see how this plays, but there it is. What a marvelous clarinet, it looks absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to give it a try, but you know what? It still feels a little bit cold. So I'm gonna let it rest for another two to three hours before I play it in my house. It's been so dry in Calgary lately and uh, this is something that I advise anyone who gets a new instrument does. Take your time, and for the first few weeks, only play it for 15 minutes a day, maximum. If you need to play it anymore for some reason, you're going to want to make absolutely sure to swab it out every single time, or sorry, every single 15 minutes, um, and at the end of your practice session, for sure. Uh, not just the, the bore, but also you're going to want to go inside all the sockets, blow out the water from all the tone holes, Wood and moisture do not mix well, and one of the best things you can do for a brand new clarinet is to be patient. I know it's so hard, I'm just dying to play this thing, but you know what? I think it's worth letting it sit out for just a little bit longer because I don't want this beautiful wood to crack. So, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm going to post another video of me playing this over the next couple days, but for now, thanks for watching Clarinet, and you can check out the free podcast at www.clarinet.com.